Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, damas y caballeros, welcome to Alamo Music Center here in San Antonio, Tejas. Texas Tim Root here, and we're going to do another great video for you today on some really cool pianos. Before I get started, I'd like to remind you, as always, please go to our website, alamomusic.com, and check out our YouTube channel, which is Alamo Music Pianos and Keyboards. Subscribe to it. Check all our cool stuff out, all our videos. And uh, here we go, man. Let's, let's make this thing happen today. You ready? I want to start off by saying choosing a piano is a personal choice and everyone has a different way of evaluating a piano. Today we're going to take a look at three upright pianos. I'm not here to tell you which one is better. You will have to decide that. I'm here to educate you on some of the key differences and some of the key features. We're going to talk a lot about specifications. Some will be better on one piano, some will be worse, but at the end of the day, it's what you hear and what you see and what works best for you. So we're here to help you find the right piano that suits your needs and makes you happy. Today's video is about institutional pianos. Institutional pianos are ideal for schools, colleges, churches, performance venues, and must be built to last. These pianos we're going to show to you today are specially designed for venues that require heavy use and frequent moves that place continue, continual stress on the instrument. These pianos will provide long-term durability for years of rigorous use. Of course, you can use these for pianos for home or professional use as well. So let's get started. Many of you might remember a Baldwin 243 piano. The 243 set the standard for institutional pianos and everybody's trying to hit that standard. So these pianos are an evolution of the 243. The pianos we're going to talk to you about today are three of the most popular upright pianos on the market today. We have the Kawai 506N in uh, satin black. We've got the Yamaha P22 behind me in uh, satin walnut. And then we've got the Kawai ST1. It's also satin walnut, but it's a little bit different, a little bit lighter look. So three great pianos. Again, I'm not here to tell you which one to pick. But I will tell you this, any of them that you pick, you're really going to love them. All right? So let's get started on some of the key features. Okay, let's start out with the cabinets. All three of these pianos are built like tanks and have beautiful finishes. So they're very strong and powerful is what uh, institutional piano is all about. Let's talk about the size. The 506N has a height of 44 and a half inches, 59 inches wide, 24 inches deep, 424 pounds. P22 is 45 inches, 60 wide, 24 deep. SD1 is 46 inches, 57 inches wide, but they're all about the same size. One's a little bit, the SD1 is the tallest one. Let's talk about the solid legs, toe blocks and double casters. So again, this goes along with a solid institutional design. Strong back posts. All three have really solid back posts, make them very strong, again, Built like tank, built like tank. All right, these things are really cool. Cast iron plates, they all three have really strong cast iron plates, which means that the soundboard and the strings just are so solid. Really, that's the whole theme of the video is these things are really solid. All three of these panels have a good combination of a plate design, back post structure, string tension, which provide a great foundation for an outstanding tone. That's the bottom line. Let's talk about the music desk or where you put your sheet music. This is really cool. All three have nice music desks. Plenty of room, really nice for putting all your music. The ST1, this one over here, has the longest one at 47 inches, which is a little bit of added length, so that way you can put those super big long scores, read all that sight music and never end. All goes on the music desk. Softball uh, boards. This is kind of a plus for this. So what this means is when you 
do this, it's soft falls. These other two just go down. So a little bit of advantage to the SD1. Let's talk about locks. P22, SD1, both have locks. So that way, if you don't want to have anybody play it or you want to keep the kids from you know, getting in there and messing with it or say you have a school or venue, these are perfect. You can lock them up, all right? Pedals, all three of them have uh, three pedals, soft, middle one's the muffler, right one's a damper or sustain pedal. Benches are included, of course. The benches are included. They all come with really nice matching benches. ST1 has a slightly uh, nicer reinforced uh, panel on their bench, a little bit better bench, okay? Let's talk about finishes. Right here, it's pictured in satin black, 506N. You can also get in it satin walnut and satin oak. The P22 is uh, shown here in the, in the walnut, satin walnut. It comes in satin ebony and a couple other cool finishes. SD1, satin oak, satin walnut, tons of finishes. I didn't get to them all, but there's a lot of finishes. All right, you notice there aren't any polished ebony finishes available. That's because these pianos are designed to take a lot of abuse. And the satin fishes, finishes don't show the bumps and scratches as much as polished ebony, okay? So satin finishes on these, no polished ebony, all right? So soundboard. That's one of the most important things about a piano is the soundboard, all right? All three have super uh, killer solid spruce soundboards and the ribs, okay? So the design on them are amazing and rich, rich tone. Uh, this 506N has uh, like 2,015 square inches. This one has 2,011. And again, the SD1 is a little bit more. So basically, they're similar. SD1 gets the edge on the soundboard as well. Action, P22 has what they call the special P22 action. The 506N has a direct blow action with some of the ABS uh, carbon parts in there. Maintains stable touch and control. But the ST1, again, has a little bit of edge with their Millennium 3 uh, action with the ABS carbon. It's just really a great action, all right? Let's talk a little bit about wood and ABS carbon. Uh, Kauai uh, is kind of, they've got this new action, uh, and they use carbon fiber parts. Basically, it's kind of the concept is it's lighter, it's faster, and it's more durable, and it gives you a little bit more control. That's the thinking with Kauai. But they're both great actions on all of them, but uh, the SD1 is the, mil the Millennium 3 action, which is really pretty darn good action, so you definitely want to check that out. Okay, let's talk a little bit about wood versus ABS carbon, okay? ABS carbon, the concept from Kauai is those parts are lighter and faster, last longer, and give you better control. Kind of like the same idea of an old wood tennis racket compared to the new carbon rackets, you know, give you more power, more control. Golf, golf clubs is, is another idea. Wood is susceptible to shrinking and swelling, okay? But they're both great actions, actions and you can't go wrong with either one. Uh, let's talk about the key length. The Kauai, again, has a little bit longer key length, which gives you more control. I think they're about 16 and a quarter inches. But this is a really good part for all of these pianos here. They all have 10-year warranties, which is really good. They're going to last a lot longer than that, but all Kauai and Yamaha give you a full 10-year warranty. They're great instruments. You're not going to have any problem at all. So uh, let me review a little bit. This is the Kauai 506N in satin black, and we're going to listen to that here in a minute. We've got the Yamaha P22 in their uh, satin walnut, and then we've got the Kauai ST1 and their satin walnut, which is a little bit lighter. So right now, we're going to cut away, and I'm going to get me a piano bench, and I'm going to get my fingers loosened up, and I'm going to give you some playing and let you check out, because we want to hear what these great instruments sound like, okay?
Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'd like to remind you to go to our website, alamomusic.com, and go to our YouTube channel, which is Alamo Music Pianos and Keyboards. And if you've got any suggestion for videos, please send the suggestions to us because we'd love to uh, take your suggestions and do videos. Uh, also, if you have any comments or questions or whatever you got, put them in the comments, comment section down there. We'd love to get your feedback because after all, we're doing these videos to try to help you. And uh, again, I hope they're helpful to you. And so have a wonderful day. Enjoy your music. Go practice and boom, boom, boom. Texas Tim Root signing off. Peace.